Well, hello everyone, sports fans and Chiefs Kingdom, this is Count X Baker TV here. So time for another prediction video as it's this Sunday afternoon. We have the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Carolina Panthers in week 12 of this NFL season. And while we are coming off uh, suffering our first loss of the season, that's right, had our first defeat, there will be no perfect season. We lost last Sunday uh, to the Buffalo Bills, 30 to 21, in Buffalo, and you know, no surprise by that. Uh, as the Bills are a very good team, uh, and you know they've gotten us in the regular season, of course, uh, but we have gotten them in the postseason, and yeah, so no surprise by that. Uh, but really, I think maybe the difference of the game might have been the two interceptions by Patrick Mahomes, which were both on the first drive of the game and the final drive of the game. Those kind of were the two differences. Uh, Xavier Worthy had only four catches but 61 yards, and defense didn't do particularly great. Josh Allen was very good. Uh, he had 55 rushing yards to go along with uh, more than 250 passing yards. And, yeah, it's, and now we're here facing a Carolina Panthers team at 3-7 and seven and is towards the bottom of the league in points per game, uh, passing yards per game. Uh, and, yeah, yeah, just about towards the bottom end a lot of major stats. Uh, they have won three in a row though. They're three and seven. Uh, they, they have won two straight games though, albeit both against uh, not so good teams, the Giants and the Saints. Uh, they're coming off a of bye week actually. They last played two weeks ago in Germany actually. They defeated the, the New York Giants in overtime. Uh, and yeah, but before beating New Orleans in week nine, uh, they had lost five in a row. They're led by a quarterback and the first overall pick from last year's draft, Bryce Young, who uh, started out the year as a starter and then after just week two was benched in favor of veteran quarterback Andy Dalton. And he didn't do much better though. Uh, Though he did get the win in his first the first game he started in week three, uh, but it wasn't much better after that. Uh, and so now, and then Andy Dalton actually, he got hurt, so they were forced to go back to Bryce Young, and now they're sticking with Bryce Young. So the first ever match between Mahomes and Bryce Young. And yeah, and he's won back-to-back -back games for the first time in his NFL career. Uh, but now getting faced in a big test, obviously. And, I mean, both of these teams, ironically, don't even, haven't even scored a lot of points this season. Of course, our struggles on offense, struggles in the, in the red zone. Uh, as, yeah, the Panthers averaging just about 20 points per game. Uh, and, yeah, and, uh, of course, running back Isaiah Pacheco, who has not played since week two, thought he might be able to go f for this game, but he will be out for at least one more week. Uh, and heard that the Chiefs might bring him back to play in our game Friday. Yes, Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, is our next game after this against the Las Vegas Raiders. So, it'll be a shorter, shorter week. Uh, but yeah, facing two bottom tier teams, the Panthers this week, and then the two and eight Raiders could be probably two and nine. They face the Broncos tomorrow uh, at home. So, and yeah, so the Panthers led by quarterback Bryce Young, uh, as well as uh, rookie receiver who leads them in receiving yards. Xavier Leggett has four touchdowns for just two hundred and eighty four receiving yards. Uh, which is the fewest of any team that leads their league in, by a uh, 
team leading their team in a uh, receiving yards. So, and yeah, they have a new head coach for a second straight year, and yeah, rebuilding and really see if they, if they even uh, will have Bryce Young next season. So. Uh, running back Chuba Hubbard has had a solid year. He is fourth in the league in rushing yards. Will likely reach a thousand rushing yards for the first time. Uh, has six touchdowns, so he's had a solid year. Uh, but their defense towards the bottom of the league in points allowed, also. So. And, yeah, and of course, uh, Harrison Bucker also out on IR, out for at least three more games. Uh, but rookie kicker who we signed uh, before the Bills game last week, Spencer Schrader made all three of his extra points. Did not have to make a field goal, but still it's pretty good. Uh, and yeah, so even though we lost last week to Buffalo, you know, we still control our own destiny. If we went out, we would still be the one seed but if we lose any of our remaining games and the Bills happen to win all of their remaining games, then they would be the one seed by virtue of, of them beating us. So, do you have a pretty, pretty favorable schedule? I mean, really, I think our our toughest games remaining are against the Chargers, Steelers, and probably even the Broncos. We'll play the Chargers two weeks from now in Week 14. That'll be a huge game. And then we'll face... The Houston Texans, likely playoff team, and then uh, it'll be a huge test Christmas Day against the Pittsburgh Steelers, and then closing out the regular season at Denver. Just Denver Broncos, man, they've had a, what a year they've had. Uh, they are 6-5, and five, trying to make it to the playoffs for the first time in, like, nine years. So, and... Yeah, it'll be a short week after this. Uh, playing on a, a Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. So, and yeah, and in terms of total yards, uh, the Panthers dead last in the league in, in uh, total yards. Uh, and in, also dead last in yards per game and second to last behind the Patriots in uh, passing yards per game. So, yeah, they've had a pretty rough year. They won just two games last year, though they were not awarded the first overall pick since the Chicago Bears had it. So, um, but yeah, so I'm picking the Chiefs to win this one. I'm going to say uh, 28 to 17. I think, it, I think it actually could be a relatively closer game than than most people th think. So, I think they may give us give us a test, but I think we definitely will hang on for the win. She'll get the win over a, a pretty, pretty bad Carolina Panthers team. So, till Sunday, Connick for saying, go Chiefs.